can AI make RGB profiles or can it not? Well, we can try. Today, I'm going to try to make ChatGPT4 make RGB profiles. But how are we going to do this? Yep, we're going to make shaders more than RGB profiles, as you can see right here. This is actually a shader we have here, um, and th that is what is being displayed on my keyboard. Now, shaders is just a piece of code, and ChatGPT can write code. So we can make ChatGPT write shader code. Now, how are we going to do this? Because if I just ask it if it can make a profile, it's not going to work. It's going to make so many errors. What we are using right now is OpenRTB with the effects engine plugin. You can watch my video on setting that up if you don't don't know how to. And we can actually too make the shaders react to audio too, which is pretty cool. We're gonna try to play with that later. So I made a prompt to ChatGPT here that uses examples code from here to know which code will work for OpenRGB bits because it's not all shader code that's just gonna work for OpenRGB and, and I will be linking this text file down below. So you can just control A and copy it all and then paste it into here. And now go up to the top here. Here you can write something. Write something that you try and make. I wrote here, you can make a shader that shows a cup of hot tea. That is pretty complicated. It can't really do that. You can like make a visualization or sort of something. So what if we ask it to make a abstract thing? So can you make shader that works no match be? Like it's gonna make something. I know it's not a very good, um, thing to say here but just then try here and then it's gonna try to make something if it doesn't try to make anything just make a new chat here here and do that a couple of times because sometimes it's actually weird now you can see here it made some code not very much but it made some and then you can just go in here and open RGB and just find something because just click edit shader anywhere really and just take that and paste and then click apply and see there and here you can see it actually made something, a flowing, not very much flowing, but it makes made something. Now it looks a bit different on the keyboard as the colors are being displayed. Now I'm gonna ask it something. Can you optimize it so it clear colors on a RGB, which LEDs is? Now you're gonna um, count here, you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's 16 x 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now it made something. So let's see. Just click edit and paste it and click then. Okay. So this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> See, it actually made optimized for the keyboard, which works really well. But as you can see, it works well on the keyboard because it displayed all the LEDs there. But as you can see on everything else here, it's just black. Because I think it's mimicking the most common color on the, on the whole display because it's, ju it's just displaying single colors. So, so we need to optimize a little more. Just write something long there. It's okay, it's gonna understand. It's really good at understanding. Now I've made something again. Let's see. As you can see, it did what I asked it to. And it still looks pretty good. Well, um, my other things here, not just being entirely black. So that's pretty cool. Then you could just basically ask it whatever you wanted. You should really try that. But what I want to do now, I want to have something to react to audio because I think that's really, really cool. So what I'm gonna open here, I have a second text file here, which is pretty much like the first text file, just with audio. You don't need to make a new chat. It's actually best if you don't make a new chat, just here. So you can just copy everything. And then you're gonna paste it and then just under like right I want you to make a audio reactive shader that has a lot of pink and blue colors just write something like that yes 
And what it actually did is I, g is I gave it some code that is modifying because I found that it works best. So now as you can see, just go up and copy the code. Now what we're gonna do is click edit shader, paste it, apply. See right now it's black because there's no audio. So you're gonna click on this little thing here and by the way I didn't show you that. Um, you gotta click show rendering, it's like show the display here. And click use audio here. And then you're gonna find the your device or like if you, I could take a take my podcast here so it reacts to when I'm speaking but I don't really want that I wanted to react to uh, my audio so I'm gonna take a monitor of my headset here see this is pretty cool right pretty cool um it kind of feels static so what if it could like rotate or something or switch colors more? So just right to it, it kinda maybe make it like swirl. Just write something. So you can see it made something here, it's pretty long. I'm pretty excited to see what, what it did with this. Just click edit shader, take it all here and paste and apply. That is pretty damn cool if you ask me. Now you can fiddle around with that all you want. You can use hours and hours and you're gonna get the coolest effing effects. And I encourage you to do that. But uh, I'm gonna end the video here and let you do it for yourself. Let's try it out. I'll be linking those two text files down in the description. Okay. So see you next time.